Did you ever try to get the footage from the nail salon? I did try, but unfortunately, by the time I found out that I was coming to this show, it was too late. The tape ran out. Okay. I'm listening. And I want you to bear in mind that I've just read the police report, which includes interviews with witnesses. Do you understand? Witnesses that have no skin in the game. You know what that means? You're a customer in the salon. She was there for the first time. You've been there many times before. Do you understand? Yes. Have you ever read the police report? Yes. Great. So now you want to tell me your version of what happened? I seen her way before the nail shop. And I'm she... just interested in the nail shop. Okay. Nail I... shop. I walked into the nail shop and I seen her. I seen her before I walked in there. I so when care. I asked her... I don't... Do... Listen to me. I don't care whether you saw her before. You walked into the nail shop. She's sitting in a, one of the chairs. Is that in front of the store or in the rear of the store? It's in front. Like it's right in... when you walk in. Okay. So you saw her. Yes. She had her feet up because she was getting her toes painted and she's in a tall chair. So you walked up to her and... I asked her, do she remember me? She said no, but I moved my hair on my face. I said, are you sure you don't remember me? And I kept asking her because I wanted to make sure I was safe in there. But then I put my hands in my pocket. She told the nail lady, I don't know her name, but she told the nail lady to call the police and she tried to get up. What'd you put my... your hand in your pocket for? Because I had a feeling I'm, I'm protecting myself. From what? She's got her feet up in a, in a pedicure chair. She can still get up and do something to me. Why don't you just walk out of the store? Because I was getting my nails done. <laughs> That's your problem. Do you understand her problem? Do you understand her problem? Now, because she's a minor and only 13 years old, I know that you made an arrangement where there wouldn't be any formal charges and she would consent to the entry of a protective order so she has to stay away from the plaintiff for three years. Would that be correct? There is a standard Would that order, be yes. correct? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to know what consequence your daughter suffered from you as a result of spraying her with mace. Honestly, what did she... I, I'm just asking you. I mean, was... I know her. I know her and I know the situation for eight minutes and I know exactly what happened. Yes. And if you don't know exactly what happened, you've got your head in the wrong place. I understand what you're saying, Judge, but Good. there was a time, like we were stating before, I know you're not concerned about 2015, but not. that is the incident that led up to me even having my daughter with Mace Listen because I me. did not want Listen her. Listen to me. I don't care what happened in 2015 when your daughter was 11 and her friend who didn't want to play the same kind of football that she did got into some sort of a kerfuffle. I they don't didn't care. Get into anything I either. don't care. What I care about is a 13-year-old girl who walks around with mace. To protect herself. Who walks around with mace, walks into a store where someone is not aggressive towards her. That was walk aggressive towards her. No, no. That's your problem. Do you understand? She walked into a store. If she's afraid, I want you to be smart. I am. If she, maybe. If she's afraid of the plaintiff, why go into the store? And if you tell me, like your dumb daughter did, because I wanted to get my nails done. <laughs> she's not dumb. Well, that's a dumb answer. You have to admit that that's a dumb answer. If her mother is saying that she's walking around with mace to protect herself from her, and she sees her no, getting a... Anyone. And she sees her in the store, you know, you get your nails done in an hour, in the place that you usually get your nails done, if they're busy. But if I was afraid of somebody, I wouldn't go into the store and confront them. Would you? Would, not if I was afraid. Not, not if you were afraid. Right. That's what she said she was. She was afraid of her. Why would you go into the store? To get it her didn't happen. Her. It didn't happen the way your daughter... Don't speak. It didn't happen the way your daughter told you it happened. Do you understand? It didn't happen that way. And if you cover for her when she's 13, you'll be covering for her when she's 23. <laughs> and when she's 33. And that's a mistake. I'm just protecting her from what happened before. That's <laughs> the only thing, Your Honor. That's the only thing. That's it.